Situated in Independence Avenue, one would think it is just a Bible shop with numerous Bibles to sell, but a whole lot of services are offered at this venue, such as counseling, Bible translation in vernacular languages, and free Bible distribution projects. The recent project by the society is to distribute Kwekwe Gova Bibles in the southern parts of the country where most of the people that speak the language reside. This also includes the first children's Bible in Kwekwe Gova. And then the idea came up that we start to do this also in Namibia and especially uh, to various regions in the future but we will start now with an outreach to the south of Namibia, focusing on our Koikukuvap communities um, in the rural areas. So um, we will target specific schools and specific communities um, beforehand and arrange with them uh, when we, uh, in, in this time when we are preparing for this outreach. Bota says Bibles are not always affordable, although many people want to have a copy and they have always gathered funds to distribute free Bibles. The distribution also includes a sound device that will allow those who cannot read to listen to the oral Bible on these small devices. It's a device that, uh, that works with solar power. It looks closely to a cell phone and it can be charged in the sun and the Bible text is, is on it so people can listen then to the Bible. So I think we, at this stage, we want people to become involved in it. You cannot maybe go with us, but people can sponsor a Bible uh, or they can sponsor the bikers by 10, uh, 10 Namibian dollars per, per kilometer. So everything is, is uh, uh, on our Facebook page where they can download uh, the, uh, the forms to fill in and to donate. The project is expected to cost millions of dollars which the society is busy sourcing. Bikers from South Africa will lead the Bible distribution expected to commence this year. Selima Henok, NBC News, Ventuk.